G'day guys, Adam here. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're upgrading our old wine guard antenna with a brand new wine guard antenna. Now a big special thanks to RV Parts Australia for supplying this brand new antenna uh, for this install video. Um, if you want your own wine guard antenna, uh, once you've seen the video and how easy it is to do, uh, head over to rvpartsaustralia.com. They've got some really, really competitive prices. Um, they can ship all around Australia. So yeah, make sure you check them out. Cool. All right, so why are we upgrading our uh, wine guard antenna? Uh, a couple of good reasons. Now, firstly, the, the one uh, on top of the roof is the original one. Uh, the van was built back in 2009 um, and it's seen better days. Secondly, it's, it's pretty poor um, in actually getting any TV reception at all. So this is where this new one comes in. Uh, the one fitted to the roof only receives horizontally plane uh, TV uh, reception, whereas the, this new one here does vertical and horizontal. So depending on where you are in Australia, different areas of Australia um, will broadcast TV reception in either vertical or horizontal. So this will capture or give you the best opportunity at both. Now one thing to understand with TV reception is that just because you've got the, the best fan dangerous TV uh, antenna on your, uh, on your caravan, doesn't necessarily you're going to get reception because they've got to be broadcasting in that area, right? So um, if they're not broadcasting, you're not going to receive anything. So just just obviously keep that in mind. Um, the other good thing is with this antenna is it actually has an integrated 4G filter. You're probably wondering what a 4G filter is. To explain it, I've put together this basic diagram. A 4G filter is a simple device that is built into the antenna that blocks unwanted signals from mobile phones or towers, giving you clear, uninterrupted TV reception. All right, so there's a couple of different kits available. So this one here is called the Retrofit Kit. Uh, and all we're doing is simply replacing the brand new mast and then also the elevating gear. So the elevating gear, chances are it's probably worn out on top of your roof um, or it's or it's um, quite weathered. So uh, good opportunity to replace that. If you are purchasing the full kit, um, the full kit obviously comes with elevating gear, the mast head, the spindle handle, um, and all the other componentry that goes with it, with the full kit, the wiring, the whole lot. So what we'll do is we'll go through now, um, show you how really simple and easy it is to, uh, to swap over um, using minimal tools. So we'll get into that now. All right, so all we're gonna need for the install is a pair of long nose pliers, some side cutters, an 11 mil spanner, a hammer, some zip ties, and a uh, good sturdy ladder. All right, fancy seeing you here. All right, so a couple of things before we start. Uh, make sure that the power is off on the actual wine guard socket itself. So that's where the uh, the antenna for the TV plugs into the wall. Um, there's a little button on, on there that gives gives the actual head uh, 12 volt power. So make sure you turn that off uh, and also wind the antenna into the vertical position. That'll just make it easier to get access to these um, to these pins. Um, and that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to take out these two pins down the bottom first. Um, and it's just simply by removing a little C-clip and then just pushing the pin through and that'll then be able to, we'll be able to drop the antenna head and then undo the, uh, the actual connection for the um, uh, cable here. So now we've removed the main mast. Um, simply all we need to do is just disconnect this uh, this cable here. And this is an 11 mil spanner, and we just simply turn that on, handy clockwise. And it shouldn't be too tight. Like it should just be sort of finger tight, and then nipped up a tiny bit. And from there, undo that. And then we feed that wire back down the hole to the um, to the end. There you have it, wire is out, uh, and then we can take the uh, the old mast down and then uh, bring the new one up. All right, so the next part of the process is to insert the elevating drive into the mast. Um, so just slide that in like that, and then the hole lines up, um, and then that's where the pin will go through. So once we insert this into this part here, um, we'll stand it up nice and straight, and then you'll be able to put the pin in. Now the pin may require a little bit of a persuasion with the hammer, because um, it is quite a tight fit. So. We'll go ahead and put this in. And just 
like that. It's poking through now, so next thing to do is just stick on this little circ clip. And that just stops that from coming down. Like that. Alrighty, it's hot out here. I picked a uh, good day to do uh, do a job on the roof, didn't I? Anyway, so next bit we've got to uh, screw on the uh, the coax cable onto the uh, onto the splitter here. Really, really simple. So just obviously just line that up, screw that in. So you want to go finger tight, <coughs> finger tight, and then grab your 11 mil shifter and then probably turn it about another half a turn. So about that. Don't want to go too tight with that. That's enough for it to be a waterproof and tight connection. So probably not exactly ideal, um, but I'm just going to zip tie that up for the time being. Um, I will get that shortened. Um, I just need to get uh, a new connection and the right crimping tool to put that on. But anyway, so that's it. That's all done on the roof. We'll go back in the van and see if we can tune the uh, TV now. All right, there we have it guys. 38 digital channels, 21 radio channels, uh, which is basically doubled the, the actual uh, channels that I was able to get. Uh, previously I was about 20, uh, but it was a very glitchy 20. So uh, sound used to cut in and out and the picture quality wasn't that great. So look, not that we lo lo watch a lot of TV when we go, go camping, but those days where you get, you know, that it's overcast, rainy, uh, you want to stick, keep the kids inside to, you know, uh, keep them dry. Um, having a, a reliable antenna uh, that's going to give you a good picture quality and reception is uh, is definitely a must in my books. Big thanks to rvpartsaustralia.com.au for providing the uh, the antenna. Um, if you head over to RV Parts um, to their website, uh, they've got the retrofit kits and also the uh, full kits uh, available. Um, anyway, guys, um, I hope you've enjoyed. If you've got any questions or comments, uh, drop them in below. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.